did you guys know that there are many uses for apple cider vinegar? Who would have thought? This is for you, my cooks, my homesteaders, and my homemakers. Here with another informative video on many uses for apple cider vinegar. Let's get started. Surprisingly, apple cider vinegar has household benefits, cooking benefits, health benefits, and you can also use it for your beauty treatment. Wow. I know you know some of these, but let's start exploring some of those that may be surprising first off. The first thing is weed killer. You can spray a little undiluted apple cider vinegar on your weeds, including your dandelions, and you can kill these without adding unhealthy pesticides to your lawn. But guess what? It can also kill grass and flowers that you do not want to kill. So be very strategic. The second thing is that you can use this on your sticky scissors. You can wipe down your blades of your sticky scissors with apple cider vinegar and you will restore its functionality. Water spots. To banish your water spots on your wine glasses or your other glassware and restore its sparkle, just add a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar to your dishwasher's rinse cycle. Believe it or not, you can use this as a fruit fly trap. All you have to do to get rid of the flies is add a few drops of dish soap to a cup of apple cider vinegar and place it in the area with the fruit flies. Here is a home remedy you might have not thought about. If you want to relieve mosquito and bug bite discomfort, go ahead and put you two cups of apple cider vinegar in your tub of water and soak and this will relieve itching. Speaking of soaking in a bath, if you want to help heal sunburn, then you can soak in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Not two cups, maybe a few drops, but this will help relieve sunburn. Next up, foot odor. Yes, all you have to do is soak your feet in a container of hot water, add a couple cups of apple cider vinegar and a cup of baking soda. You mix that well and you soak your feet for about 10 minutes. Don't forget to pat it dry when you're done. The vinegar smell will dissipate on its own. Use apple cider vinegar to promote a healthy gut. I know we don't think of vinegar and a healthy gut being put together, but you can alleviate acid reflux. Who would have thought? All you have to do is just add a little apple cider vinegar and a little bit of baking soda and a glass of water. And if you want, add a little honey. And this is alleviation of acid reflux, it will help as an antacid. Use apple cider vinegar as a sore throat soother. Yes, just mix a little teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of honey and a glass of warm water and use a little bit of cayenne pepper. Do you know apple cider vinegar and honey are known to have antibacterial properties? And the cayenne pepper, they say, helps alleviate pain. So you can use this as a sore throat soother. And because of apple cider vinegar's antibacterial properties, also apple cider vinegar's acidity changes the pH of your scalp so you can get rid of some dandra. Just use equal parts of apple cider vinegar and water in a spray bottle. After you've shampooed your hair, you can use this dilution 
onto your hair and work it through the scalp and let it sit for 15 minutes and then rinse. Apple cider vinegar can kill bacteria, very harmful bacteria. So you can use apple cider vinegar to wash your fruits and veggies because it will eliminate chemical residues or pesticides that may be present on the food. And if I hadn't said apple cider vinegar, all it is is a type of vinegar made with crushed fermented apples, yeast, and sugar. That's what it is. But let me tell you some cautionary tales. Now, let me say, this apple cider vinegar may not interact well with medication, certain medications, so you always want to talk with your doctor before adding apple cider vinegar to your diet. All right, everything has a side effect and a risk, and apple cider vinegar is one of those things. So you want to be very careful in your household uses, with your food uses, and with your beauty treatments. Hey guys, if you are not a subscriber, please consider becoming a new subscriber, sharing this video with your other homemakers and cooks and homesteaders and friends, like the video, and leave me any comments that may help all of us, some tips and tricks and hacks that you may know. I love you guys. Until next time on the next informative video upcoming, I'll see you then. Have a great day. Be well and be safe.